we started our adventure, ready to challenge the world and see just how far we could go. Along the way, we made many friends who helped us, and many enemies who tried to take us down. We encountered the most dangerous of forests, the darkest of caves, and even stared death itself in the face. And one by one, we overcame these challenges and stood victorious. But there is one more challenge still to come. Today, we challenge the Elite Four and we prove to the world once and for all that we are true Pokemon champions. But before we can go and do the Elite Four, we have to do one of the hardest areas in the game, Victory Road. And now that we've defeated the eighth gym and gotten our final gym badge, we can go do that. So let's get out of here. Let's go to the Pokemon Center and heal up and let's work towards Victory Road. Hey buddy, congrats kid. Boy though, that what a shock. I never thought a criminal would use a Pokemon gym as their hideout. Lots of dots. That's it, I've decided. I'll look after the Viridian City Gym from now on. I don't really like to get tied down, so I've always said no when they ask about it, but I'm finally ready. I'll be the gym leader from now on. Uh, I kinda wanna battle you, that sounds fun. Huh? I mean, sure, but I think you've got a bigger challenge to face right now. So then, Psycho, time for you to take on the Pokemon League. Just keep going along Route 22 to the west of here, and you won't miss it. The Elite Four are tough opponents, but don't you dare lose. All right, I'll do my best, and suddenly Petrie. Hey, buddy. The Viridian City Gym Leader has returned. Um, I kind of defeated him, and now there's a new Gym Leader right here. But we can't battle him right now. Oh, well. So let's ride Petrie off into the sunset, or at least to the Pokemon Center. Let's get our dudes healed up, dude. So like Blue was saying, we have to go out to the west on Route 22, and we can make our way over to Victory Road through there. But on the way, we are going to get interrupted. So let's walk right over here. Suddenly, Yarg. Suddenly, Butthead. Hey, buddy. Well, let's go chat with him, I guess. I finally caught up to you. I got an Earth Badge, too. That means we can finally get into the Pokemon League. I heard the Elite Four are incredibly strong, but there's no turning back now, right? You think you're ready, Psycho? Show me the Pokemon you've raised. Okay, time to battle Yarg once again. So I've got Petrie up front because he's going to lead with, well, Pidgeot, which usually leads with Pidgeotto, Pidgey, uh, Pidgey and all that crud. So here we go, Pidgeot up front. And because we have rocket attacks, we're going to pretty much destroy this guy. So let's get this crud Petrie. Let's go fight. Let's go to Rock Slide. Just got to hope it doesn't miss. It does have a chance to miss. Okay, we got him. Can we one shot? Not quite, but we might be able to flinch. Uh, no, he goes for Air Slash. Should not do too much. And we'll just hit him with one more Rock Slide. If we can actually hit him without missing. And he'll go down. No problemo. Or he'll use a Max Potion. That's okay too. If we can get a critical, we'll just one-shot him anyways, but yeah, we'll hit him here, and we'll just have to hit him again. Yeah, no critical. Oh well. Alright, hit him one more time, and down goes Pidgeot, so we kind of wasted that max potion. Oh, next up is going to be Raichu, and you guys know how it is. We have to use Freya versus his starter. I mean, it's just, it's just the only thing that makes sense. We have to do it. I know Douglas would be a little bit stronger against Raichu, but it just feels so right to have our starters battle each other. So, let's go and use Double Edge right here. We'll take some pretty big recoil damage, but that's okay. He goes for Thunder. That actually might hit pretty hard, and he doesn't miss either. Thunder does have a high chance to miss, but this time he doesn't. Okay, we get through. Can we one-shot him? Oh, so close. Look at that recoil damage. That definitely hurts. He actually might defeat me here. No, we avoid it with our shout. Take that, you crud. We have the power of love on our side. And down goes Raichu. Two more Pokemon. No, wait. Yeah, two more. So we are sending out Wanda right here because this next Pokemon is going to be Vileplume. Now I have to hope he does not go for a poison attack. That would definitely hurt. But let's go for Psychic right now and see if we can just defeat this guy. We haven't one-shot anything so far and it looks like we're not going to start now. We're so close, but just can't quite do it. Well, he goes for Toxic. I was hoping for no poison attack, but if he's going to go for one, I think Toxic is probably the best one he could go for because... It's only going to do a tiny bit of damage. Even if he heals up right here, Toxic is just really not going to have time to build up to do a lot. And no, they don't even heal up. So, down goes Vileplume. We only took one little hit from Toxic. Not a big deal. One Pokemon to go. And their final Pokemon is Marowak. So we've got Aya up front. I don't think I'm going to bother going for Spore. I think I'm going to go directly for Mega Drain. The thing is, even if we don't kill him here, which we don't, Marowak's just not going to be able to actually hit us that hard, so I really don't feel the need to put him to sleep. He'll go for Thrash. As you can see, it doesn't really do that much. And after this battle, we can just go right back to the Pokemon Center, so it's really not a big deal to try to avoid damage. And we're going to heal up most of that damage anyways. So, there we go. The rival battle is defeated. I've raised my Pokemon up this much, and I still can't beat you, huh? 
All right, we get lots of money. You know, Psycho, I've always felt like I needed to look after you ever since we were young, but I think, I think you're the one who has more talent as a trainer. It's frustrating. I've never felt this way before. Is this what makes it fun to raise Pokemon? Whatever it is, I know I don't want to lose again. It's weird to even have to ask, but let me go on ahead first. Okay, so he wants to get a head start on the way to the Pokemon League. Now, we're gonna go that way in a minute. I guess first we'll see what Freya has to say about that battle. Oh, crud. Freya's acting like it wanted to touch Yarg's hair. What the crud, Freya? That's kind of weird. All right, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and I guess battle a Spearow here. Now, I'm gonna go back, heal up, and then we'll go and do Victory Road. So, we just have to go around and up in here. We've, we've already been in this building before. We've already gone through most of this path. We've gone through the first six badges, but we haven't got past the Volcano Badge or the Earth Badge checkpoints. So, we'll do that now. They're not gonna unlock access to any new Pokemon or anything. We've already caught what we need to catch here. So, I'm just gonna get through. Oh, crud. I did not mean to talk to you, Petrie, but he is full of determination, so that's cool. So, we're gonna go into the water. And we'll just see skim across, get our little surfboard out once again. And we'll skip past these guys. Thankfully, we don't have to talk to them the second time. You show the badge once, and you're unlocked for good. You're good to go. Gonna skip over that Bureau. We don't need that crud. I think this is the Volcano Badge one. Yes, you can pass this point only if you have a Volcano Badge. Thankfully, we do have it. And once we get past that, well, we have to get past these guys. But there is an item right here. We got ourselves five Golden Pineapple Berries. Even though I mostly just use raspberries, some of the other berries are useful, but I just don't actually use them that often. You can pass this point only if you have an Earth Badge, and we of course have an Earth Badge. Now right here, this is Victory Road. As we go inside, it's going to be a little bit cramped for a giant Pokemon like Petrie, so instead, you know, Aya likes caves. We're going to go inside a cave, so we'll go ahead and bring Aya out right here. And in we go to Victory Road, our final challenge before we get to the Elite Four. So, here we are. If we go over to the left, we can see there's this little block right here. We already know we can push these using Strong Push. But, the thing is, this one, we can only push one block. We can't actually push it any further. So basically, if you get to the other side, you can push this to get a shortcut back to the start. But it's kind of a one-way thing. This one up here is actually a gate. We have to open this by pushing a block onto a switch. And the block we have to push is over on this side. So let's go over here and push it. We're just going to use Strong Push, and kabam, down goes that crud. That'll lower the gate, and we can go, I guess, defeat that Zubat. There is a couple Pokemon here I want to catch, but in a couple episodes I am going to go... Well, of course, there's going to be post-game episodes, guys. This is the final episode of the main game, but we will have post-game. And during post-game, I will catch every single Pokemon, so I'll come back and catch what we miss on the way. So I'm not going to go out of my way to look for stuff here. So real quick, I want to go to the back. We have to push this block here, but unfortunately... Kind of gets stuck right here. We have to either push it to the left to grab the top item or push it from here to get the left item. I'm going to go ahead and grab this item here because this one is going to be TM56 Stealth Rock. Well, I'm going to go ahead and move back for now. We have to exit the area, come back, and then we push this block again to uh, get the other item. So we'll do that. But first, let's go battle this trainer down here. We got a coach trainer. And for the coach trainer, I want to start with Kappa. So let's go talk to him. I seek a battle. You, do you seek a battle? Engardi! Yeah, yes, Engardium Leviosa. Let's go have a battle here. And I've got Capra up front, like I mentioned. And the reason why Coach Trainer Alamana is because they're going to have a Ditto. So this Ditto is pretty much always going to get to go first. They're going to transform into what we send out. So my idea here is we send out Kappa, we'll have them transform into Kappa, and then we'll swap to Aya or something to defeat him from there. So we'll go for Body Slam. Hopefully we'll get a Paralyze as well while we're at it. So let's see how we do. Get that Paralyze. Come on, Kappa! Do we get it? Not gonna get it. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna swap over to Aya now. And hopefully they do not destroy us. They're probably gonna go for... Well, they might go for Body Slam as well, but probably a Fighting Attack or a Water Attack, which will not be that good against Aya. We can go for Spore and this Mega Drain from there. Okay, they go for Brick Break. Let's see how much that does. Not very much at all. There you go. That's why we uh, did the strat here. So let's go for Spore. They do get to go first. They might paralyze with that. Oh, that hurts a bit. But we're fine, so we get the Spore right there. And now we can just start spamming Mega Drain. Dude, look how close Aya is to leveling up as well. We're definitely leveling up from this battle. The thing is, because they count, uh, copied my Polyrath, it's actually pretty tough. So it's going to take a few hits to actually defeat this guy. Don't wake up. Oh, he woke up. He goes for Body Slam again. Don't paralyze. Do not paralyze. Okay, we're good. 
So we'll go for this Mega Drain again. I think one more will defeat it. I'm gonna risk it and not go for Spore. I'm gonna gamble that we actually will kill them here. And no, they do survive. I should have gone for Spore. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. Let's just go for one more Mega Drain here. On the last one, he gets the Paralyzed. Thankfully, we get through. We don't get stuck. And down goes this coach trainer. Got him. There it is, dude. Level 55 right there. Overwhelming. That was delightful. Allow me to demonstrate my thanks. And we get 10 EV candies. Like I've mentioned many times before, if I actually do find the candies and not just uh, get them from like catch combos or whatever, I actually will use them. So we're going to go ahead and use those 10 EV candies, which will basically give us plus 10 to all of our stats on Freya. So let's go do that. Okay, that's all the candies used. And I think I saw one Pokemon. Yes, one of the Pokemon I actually want to catch in the area. We've got the evolved form of Rhyhorn. We've got Rhydon. So let's go try to catch this guy. I'm going to try doing it without using any berries. Let's see how this goes. That is not... Well, I mean, it's great, but that is definitely not excellent. Maybe we'll get it first try, though. Okay, well, let's get super lucky. Do not need to use any berries, and we still get it first try. There we go, dude. We got right on. The drill Pokemon. Its brain developed when it began walking on its hind legs. Its armor-like hide even repels molten lava. All right, so with that, I'm not going to battle that trainer quite yet. I want to go all the way back out and then come back in and get the other Pokeball, or the other item, I guess. So I just walked out. I walked back in. Now we just push this two times to the side, and this time we push it up. And there we go, we can grab this item here. This one is just a Leaf Stone. So if you want to be lazy, you just want to grab one item, definitely recommend getting the TM instead of the Leaf Stone, but uh, I like to get them both. So there we go. Now let's go battle this Ace Trainer. I wonder if you're good enough for me. I'm way better than goody, yeah. And they're going to start off with a Kangaskhan. I'm going to start off with Kappa here and uh, just go for some fighting attacks. Hopefully it works out. They do have some pretty strong attacks in this Kangaskhan, and we're definitely not going to one-shot. I think they're faster than us, too. Yeah, so they're going to go for Outrage. That's going to do some huge damage. Thankfully, it's not going to two-shot us, so that's pretty good. Go for Brick Break, and we will get to two-shot them, so that's pretty handy. And as long as they don't critical, maybe a critical would defeat me, but I think we're fine either way. Yeah, we're definitely fine, so we'll hit him with that Brick Break. Down goes Kangaskhan. Boom! And next up is going to be Venusaur. I'm actually going to battle this one with Douglas. I hope it works out. Let's go for Earthquake here. I don't know if we'll one-shot. Let's find out. And not quite, but we definitely will two-shot. Here's the thing. Their only grass attack is Solar Beam, so they actually can't hit us the first turn. They always have to charge, which means I always get to uh, defeat them before they even get a chance to, to hit me with that crud. So down goes Venusaur, down goes this battle. Apparently you are good enough for me. Oh, with that, I'm gonna try to sneak past these Pokemon and go grab a secret item. We've got ourselves a health candy. This is one of those items where it's random. It could be a health candy or a smart candy or whatever the heck kind of candy. But uh, for us, it was health. Let's go battle this dude. I can see you're good. Let me see exactly how good. I am not even too good. I'm three, no, four good. This guy's got three Pokemon. The first one is going to be Rapid Ash. We're gonna start off with Kappa again, obviously. And this time, instead of going for fighting attacks, we will go for Waterfall. Now, Kappa is a little bit on the slow side and they are kind of low on HP. So I'm hoping they don't defeat me with one shot here. Please live. Okay. I'm a little bit low, but uh, I like to play risky. So now we should defeat this Rapidash, no problem. There we go. And now we're sending out Petri because their next Pokemon is a Victory Bell. So we'll just go for Fly, and they will die. I should mention that team we got, Stealth Rock, I actually do plan to teach that to Petri, but I'm going to do that after Victory Road. I want to use that a lot on the Elite Four, but not really any good chances to use it here in Victory Road, so I'm not going to bother with that until then. We do have Roost. I'm going to overwrite Roost. I don't think I'll ever actually really get to use Roost, but... I'll have it just in case. It can maybe save me a couple healing items if I need it. But for now, let's go over to Aya. They're sending out Starmie. We'll just do Leech Life, and I'm sure they're going to go down no problem. Guadium! I was confident I'd win that one, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do the extra dialogue here. I never wanted to lose to anybody, especially to a younger kid. I don't know. I just like showing the little bits of dialogue. I've been doing it for the whole game. Might as well not stop now. Tuska! I concede. You're better than me. I know I am, dude. Let's go grab ourselves three more Ultra Balls. All of these Ace Trainers are giving us five Ultra Balls every time we win. Plus, we're finding more right there. We're just getting so many stinking Ultra Balls, dude. And let's see what Freya has to say about this room. Oh, they do not like it. Freya feels the tension in the air and seems a little afraid. Jeez, normally they do that around like legendary birds and crud. But we have another one of these stones, which is a one-way thing, so we can't go up that way. So instead, we're going to go down this way. And we've got a little switch right here. Let's go push the button, or push the uh, block onto the button. Smack it a couple times. 
There we go, dude. Got that button pushed. Click. And we'll have to go beat up this guy. I don't know why he's just standing there. Was he, like, waiting for me to open the wall? He couldn't figure out the puzzle, so he had to wait for someone else to figure it out so he could walk past. Anyway, well, let's go battle him here. Ah, so you wish to challenge the Elite Four. Well, yeah, but you're, you're going to be easy compared to them. Juggler Nelson with two Pokemon. First one is going to be Hypno. So we've got Aya up front. Aya is extremely good at dealing with psychic Pokemon. Oh, they tried to do Hypnosis. We avoided it with the Shout. That would have been kind of annoying if they actually got us with that. So down goes Hypno. One more Pokemon here. And next up is going to be Slowbro. Once again, we'll just do some Leech Life. And down goes Slowbro. You got me! Well, let's walk over this gate that we definitely opened ourselves. And we'll go battle this Black Belt. This here is Victory Road. It's the final test for trainers. Black Belt dies, okay? And he wants me to smell his foot. Here we got Hitmonlee. So, of course, we've got Wanda up front. Now, Wanda, of course, is very good at dealing with fighting Pokemon. But now, so is, uh, so is Petrie. But... I don't know, we're gonna use Wanda here. The thing is, Petrie is very good at attacking, but defensive-wise, they are not as good at uh, defending against fighting attacks. Wanda is extremely good at defending fighting attacks. Petrie, not so much. Although they probably just one-shot things anyway, so it probably doesn't even matter. Out comes Polyrath, we'll just do another Psychic here. I'm actually not sure if we can one-shot a Polyrath, but we're gonna find out. We'll go for that Psychic, and we got him. Okay, no problem. I at you! This place is full of tricky spots. If you get stuck, try moving some stone blocks around. I've already done that. Did I forget to talk to this guy? Well, let's talk to him anyways. A boy named Yarg passed by this way, too, a little while ago. Gosh dang it, Yarg. Getting that stinking head start. Whatever, man. He's a cheater. We're gonna go down here. Now, there's a button that we're not gonna be able to push for a while, because we have no block to push onto it. But remember that button for later. I don't need another ride on. So over here, we will go and get TM45 Solar Beam. I don't plan to learn that one, but it's there if you need it. So, let's go along this way. And there's the gate. We will eventually open up, but not quite yet. For now, we're gonna go... Gosh dang, there's been so many Rhydons. They're not that rare, but they're a little bit rare. So, let's see. We've got Tamer over here. Who do I want for him? Honestly, dude, I'm just leaving Wanda up front. Let's go. Come on. I'll whip you. Oh, that's kind of violent. <laughs> what the crud, man? We're supposed to have Pokemon battles, not actually physically attack each other. Well, we've got Tamer Vincent with two Pokemon. Dude, just chilling with a lollipop. And he's gonna have Primeape, so this is why I left Wanda up front. They're gonna do just fine against this crud. Same as the last battle, just going for that Psychic. Got him! Oh man, for the next Pokemon, I kinda wanna use Kappa. It's gonna be a Tauros, which is a normal type, but Kappa's kinda low, so maybe Petri can handle this one. Let's find out, dude. Okay, let's go for Rock Slide here. We do get to go first, so we might get to flinch this guy. Come on, flinch him! Oh, not even half damage! Oh, we do get to flinch, though. That's really good. Uh, let me see a Fly. Fly might be able to finish him off here. I actually don't have the power of Rock Slide and of uh, Fly Memorize, so I don't know which one's a little bit stronger. I think Fly might be slightly stronger. Uh, well, there you go. It finished him off, so it must be a little bit stronger. Got him. Good job, Petrie. I got whipped! You earned the right to be on Victory Road. I don't want to be on Victory Road, dude. I want to be at the actual Elite Four. Now, here we get a four store. I'm gonna go back. And over here, we've got yet another dude to beat up. Hey, buddy. Is Victory Road too tough? No, it is, this card's a cakewalk, man. I mean, it's not as easy as the Pokemon Crystal Victory Road, but I don't think much is. We've got Juggler Gregory with two Pokemon. Out comes Mr. Mime. So, against this guy, we are going to start off actually with Freya. I'm going to go and uh, just do some Double Edge, see how that does. Double Edge is, well, it's kind of a Double edged Sword, I guess. It's very, very powerful, but it does hurt yourself a lot. Yeah, we'll one-shot that guy, but watch this recoil damage here. Probably going to be a good chunk. Actually, not as bad as I was expecting. Okay, We've got Ali Kazoom right here, and I'm just gonna go for Leech Life. We already know what could destroy Ali Kazam. Oh, he goes for Shadow Ball. I don't think that's gonna do that much. Now nah, we're fine. Brr. Well done. Many trainers give up their challenge here and go home. Well, I am definitely not giving up. Instead, I'm gonna go grab some TM49 Superpower, and that TM I actually am going to use right away. Let's go to our TM case. I'm gonna go ahead and sort these by number. We have almost all of them at this point. There's just a few more left to get. Oh, do not want to use Dream Eater. I want to use uh, Super Power. And I'm gonna teach that one to Kappa. And I'm gonna get it in place of Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump is a pretty strong attack, but it is a special attack, which Kappa's not that great at special attacks. So instead, we'll get Super Power. Super Power does tons of damage, but when you use it, it lowers your attack and defense. So. It's it's worth it though. It's it's really good. Okay, so now we're gonna go back, dodge the Golbat, dodge the Golbat, yes, and we're gonna go up the ladder here. 
There we go. There's so many ways we could go. Now, right down here, I do want to grab a hidden item. We got ourselves a tough candy. That's another one of those ones that's kind of random. And you know what? I forgot to use that health candy earlier. So let's use that and let's also use that tough candy. Uh, I'm going to use the health candy on Dunk Trio because that dude does not have a crud for HP. And tough candy. I can only use one. I think I'm going to use it on Wanda. There we go. Right, so we could go up there and we could fight her. But once we get over this way, there's a gate that's blocking us off. So we're going to go that way in just a minute. For now, let's go up this way instead. Dodge these dudes. I don't think there's anything. Oh, actually, there is a trainer over here. Let's go beat him up. Watch out for Golbat. Hey, buddy. I heard rumors of a child prodigy. Hopefully, they're talking about me and not Yarg. Definitely not Yarg. Well, let's go beat up trainer, or ace trainer, George. He's got two Pokemon. The first one's going to be Scyther. So against this guy, we're definitely going to want to use Petri. Scyther is very, very weak to rock attacks. So, rock slide. I missed, dude. He goes for brick break. Does a little chunk right there. Okay, Petri, no missing. No, st stop missing you, Krona. Oh no, not like this, dude. Let's try again. Not three misses. There we go. We should just one-shot him. Yeah, we do. All right, next up is Marowak. So we're using Aya once again. I mean, I could have used Kappa, but still, he's kind of low on HP. I'm avoiding healing them because at one point during this area, we will get to heal up for free. So I'm saving my items for now where I can. But that kind of leads to me not being able to use Kappa for this fight, for example, but not a big deal. So we'll just go for one more Mega Drain. That card was so easy. The rumors were true. About me or about Yarg? So it was you who beat Giovanni of Team Rocket. Yeah, but actually Yarg also got an Earth Badge. So did Yarg also beat Giovanni or did he go battle Blue after Blue became the leader? I have no idea, man. But we got ourselves a Max Revive back there. And up here we can actually get some free water. I don't know, I guess we just had a random bottle hanging out with us. So we could fill it up there. That or there was just an entire bottle of water just chilling in this cave. Right, so this is the spot where we get to heal up for free. So let's go talk to Officer Jenny. And let's get that heal. There we go. We can heal there as much as we want. No free water on that one, I guess. And let's go grab this item. We've got ourselves TM51 Blizzard. And let's go push this block onto the switch. Let's go push it. Actually, you know what? We'll come back to that switch in a minute. We'll get that one pushed on there. For now, let's go down this way. I want to go through here because right over this way, we've got ourselves an item to grab kind of hidden in this pillar. So we'll grab ourselves a pretty wing. You might be able to see some other pretty wings at the top right. We'll get to that in a second. Let's go right down here. Grab ourselves a PP Max. Heck yes. And let's go up. And let's get ourselves our third and final legendary bird. Here's Moltres. Let's do it, guys. Oh, here we go. Moltres has appeared. And as usual, we have to battle them before we can actually go into the catching phase. Moltres, as you might guess, is fire and flying, both of which are weak to rock. So if we actually manage to hit Rock Slide, we should be able to one-shot them. They go for Heat Wave. Some pretty big damage right there, but it's not very effective. Rock Slide should do huge damage. And just like that, a little bit anticlimactic for a legendary battle, but Moltres does go down. Petrie is too powerful. And now, let's catch it. There's one thing I kind of goofed on during my other legendary catches. I didn't know about this, but they put up an aura, and during that aura, it actually cancels the effects of berries. So you do have to watch out for that. They'll have like a shimmering lightning or a water effect if it's Zapdos or Articuno. Or for Moltres, it'll be like a little fire effect. Right there, we didn't quite get him. I did not get a good throw on the guy. I think I want to go for a different berry just to slow this dude down. So we'll use a golden nano berry. Hopefully he does not put up that aura. That'll definitely slow him down. And I should be able to get the excellent. I still missed. I didn't throw it quite hard enough. Come on, get lucky. Get lucky, dude. And no, not quite. All right, there's the aura. See that fire effect around him? So now berries cannot work on him. So let's just go for the balls straight up right here. We have so many ultra balls. Oh, not going to be enough. I was going to keep chucking him, dude. Come on. No, he moved. I almost had that one as the excellent. Oh, well. Come on, game. Give me the Moltres. Dang, it's so close every time. Please, just catch it. Yes, we got him. There we go, guys. Our third and final legendary bird is captured. We got Moltres, dude. 
And we get level 57 on Wanda. That's pretty cool, too. The Flame Pokemon, a legendary bird Pokemon. As it flaps its flaming wings, even the night sky will turn red. How'd you feel about that, Crud Freya? Pretty exciting, right? Aw, oh, yeah. Freya is staring at the Pokeball you just used with wonder and joy in its eyes. You know what, dude? We need to give Freya a little pat pat on the head. Oh, they're so cute. And you know, guys, I've been kind of slacking on my Pokemon nicknames. We have a few things to name here. So let's go name... Let's start with Ditto. I'm gonna name Ditto Flubber. I'm gonna name Tangela Shoe Seller because they've got their little shoes on. Maybe they're trying to sell them. I don't... I don't know. Rhydon is Rhydonut. And Moltres is the most creative name of all. No one's ever named Moltres this before ever, right? No, totally not. It's hot wings. All right, let's keep making our way through Victory Road. We're gonna go back up the ladder here. And we're gonna actually push the block under the switch this time. And we can, we can heal up an Officer Jenny as well. Oh, gosh dang it, Machoke. I should mention, some of the Pokemon you can find here on different floors. One of, the, well, the first floor, the special rare spawn is just Chansey. But on the second floor and the third floor, there is Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan as special rares. I'm not going to go out of my way to get them right now. But eventually I will come back and I will get the one I'm missing. I'm pretty sure I chose Hitmonchan. So I'll have to come back and get Hitmonlee. But uh, yeah, I'll do that once we do the catch them all episode. So there we go, we hit the switch. That'll open up that crud down there. So I'll heal up and I'll just meet you guys at the trainer down there. Let's go beat him up. Trainers live to seek stronger opponents. Uh, I don't know why you're just like hitting me with that philosophy right now. But let's go do a battle, guys. We got ourselves Ace Trainer Alexa with three Pokemon. And the first one's going to be Dragonair. Finally, a good use for my fairy typing over on Wanda. Dragon type is weak to fairy. Dragon's not weak to very much, but it is weak to fairy. So we'll go hit him with that Dazzling Gleam. And we'll probably destroy them no problem. So, there we go. Boom. Now, next up is going to be Wigglytuff. I'm going to do something a little bit dumb. Wigglytuff has a ton of HP. I'm going to go for Double Edge. Because they have so much HP, I will take really big recoil damage. But uh, we can just go heal an Officer Jenny, so I'm not that worried about it. So, let's go for it, guys. Double Edge going in. Probably going to do like a third of my HP just in recoil. Oh, we got a critical dude. Watch this recoil damage right here. That might be more than a third. That might be like half my HP. Yeah, pretty much almost half right there. Okay, next up is going to be Hitmonchan. So we'll go right back to Wanda. This time we'll do Psychic. And down goes Hitmonchan. Oh, so strong. True strength comes from taking on tough battles, you know. Well, I'll have to look for someone tougher than you then because that was too easy. I'm going to go back and heal once again just to get that recoil damage healed up. And we'll move on. Can we get more fresh water? <laughs> we can! Heck yeah, man! More fresh water! Well, let's walk past her, and we'll go grab ourselves an item. We could have got this one earlier, it's a max potion, but I wanted to wait until we got the gate taken down, because now we can just go right past the gate, and just move on down here, where we're gonna have even more trainers. So let's go battle this guy first. Only the Chosen can pass here. <laughs> Am I the Chosen One? The Chosen One of Prophecy? I'm gonna slay the Dark Lord. I mean, I kind of already defeated Giovanni. So maybe I am the hero of prophecy. I don't know, man. So he's going to start off with Electrode. I'm going to go and just do Earthquake here on Douglas. And defeat him, no problem. Next up is Kingler. Oh, he's going for x Scissor. That might do a little bit of damage. Yeah, it's super effective. But because he's not Bug-type, it doesn't get that same type of attack bonus. And we'll just one-shot him. Well, he's got Pidgeot, so I'm sending out Petri. I mean, we, we managed to be Yarg's Pidgeot. I'm sure we could deal with this guy's as well. Or we'll just miss and he'll go for Hyper Beam. Okay, Hyper Beam is actually a normal type attack, so because we're rock, it's not going to be very effective. I mean, Hyper Beam is still a very strong attack, but look at that, not that much damage. So now he's going to have to recover. Even if we miss, we're still fine. We missed again. Just hit the guy. Just one time, Petrie. There you go, buddy. I'm pretty sure we can one-shot. No, dude, he's going to Hyper Beam again, isn't he? Well, I think even a critical were fine, but that's a little bit annoying. Owie. You know what, dude? I'm gonna go for Roost. While he's having to recharge, we'll just uh, recharge ourselves with some HP. And then we're just gonna not miss, guys. Don't worry, we're gonna not miss. You know, just to really make sure we don't miss, I'll just go for Crunch. Just keep things simple. And I'm sure that'll do that a little bit of damage. Yeah, we got him. And their final Pokemon is Rhydon. What a lame Rhydon, dude. He's not even a donut. He's not even a Rhydon donut, dude. I hit him with that waterfall. And, uh, down he goes. I don't believe it! All the trainers have their sights set on the Pokemon League. Don't let your guard down. Alright, I won't. I'll show you just how good you are. What? What? Just kidding. Time you learn there's always someone better. No one's better than me, dude. Are you serious? Hey, Trainer Caroline. Three Pokemon. Gonna start off with a Jinx. We've seen in the past that Freya is absolutely crazy at defeating Jinxes. They just destroy them. So, we're gonna do that once again. Let's go for that sizzly slide. 
I know it's probably not the most exciting thing in the world that I've kept the same marvelous moves for the entire game, rather than getting the different ones, but honestly, these three are just by far my favorites. I might show the other ones at some point just to show the animations. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, I definitely prefer these three over the others. I must defeat this crowd with the power of water! He's gonna go for Outrage. We've survived Outrage against Kangaskhan. It looks like we can survive it against an Arcanine as well. Can we one-shot? Yes! Good job, dude! And Golbat also dead. Yarg! This is the worst! I guess it really is true. There's always someone better. Yeah! Well, unless you're me. So let's go grab five golden Nana Berries. Let's go over this way, push this block here. Just gotta double check, make sure I'm not missing anything over this side. Oh, right, right, right. So this is actually a return path. Oh, gosh dang it, Onyx! This is a return path. Gosh dang it, Onyx! Leave me alone, dude! And the way I actually want to go is over here. So we're gonna push this block down the hole. And now that switch earlier that we could not press, now we can. So we'll drop down. And now we have to go through the slow process of hitting this one block at a time, getting it all the way over there. Uh-oh, we finally got it. So down goes that button. That'll open up this dude, and we can finally battle this Pokemaniac over here. Bring it on. If you can get through here, you can go meet the Elite Four. All right, I, that's what I want to do. That's been my goal this whole time. So here we've got Pokemaniac, whatever the credit's name is, Dawson, three Pokemon here. And he's starting off with Lickitung. This is not a Pokemon you see too often. He's actually one of the very few Pokemon that you cannot capture until after you beat the Elite Four. So eventually we can capture Lickitung, but... Oh, I should have gone for Superpower. Why did I go for Brick Break? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. That was still strong enough. And Lickitung... Man, poor Lickitung. He's not very strong. You can't catch him till after the Elite Four, so almost no one uses Lickitung. It's pretty rough. I mean, I still love him, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a shame. Yeah, let's go for Waterfall here, take down this Onyx. And this dude's final Pokemon is a Blastoise, so why don't we go ahead and blast him twice with, uh, some Mega Drain. That'll probably be good enough, right? It, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Flash Cannon. Ow! Small amounts of damage. Ha! Got him. No! Unbelievable! I'm pretty sure I can still beat you when it comes to knowledge about Pokemon. I don't know about that, dude. I know a lot. I mean, I don't know quite about type matchups, but aside from that... Pretty much a Pokemon master. So right here, we've got one more item to grab. This one is a full restore. And this trainer is optional, but I'm going to go ahead and battle him. One more trainer before we can leave Victory Road. Wow, your Pokemon are so cute. I know Aya is the cutest dude. Here we have Coach Trainer Ryan with four Pokemon. He's going to start off with a Primeape. Now, in the past, I've used Wanda against Primeape. This time, I'm going to go ahead and use Petrie. We can just do Fly and... Uh, <laughs> not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say he'll die again. Let's just go for fly, dude. Ha, how about that? We'll fly and he'll cry. Blech. Now for this, I actually will use Wanda because he's gonna send out a Gyarados, which is very, very weak to our electric attacks, our Thunderbolt. Of course, we could just use electric over on Freya as well, but I like to go for Wanda here. So hit him with that Thunderbolt. There is no way he's surviving this crud. Down he goes. I'm gonna do something a little bit weird. He's gonna go for Arcanine, and I'm actually gonna go for Douglas this time, not Kappa. The reason is the final Pokemon I want Kappa to be fresh for. I don't want him to take any damage here. So we're gonna hopefully one-shot him with this Earthquake. Yes, got him. So we didn't get hit by any fire attacks, we're fine. And now Kappa is fresh for the final Pokemon. All right, Kappa, let's go defeat the final Pokemon of Victory Road. It's gonna be Tauros right here, and let's go put our new move superpower to use. We're gonna do some huge damage. He does go for Thrash. Oh, that hurts, but it does not do half, so we can survive even if this does not kill him. Come on. Oh, but we're just gonna one-shot because Kappa is a beast. Down goes Tauros, and with that, guys, Victory Road is gonna be done. Heck yeah. That move used at that point in the battle. I never saw it coming. And of course, we're gonna get a reward. Ah, that was fun. Here, this will come in handy. Get TM39 Outrage. I'm not gonna actually use that, but there you go. We get another TM right there. And actually, let's go take a look at our TM guys, not our party, our TM case. I'm gonna go sort them by number here. And well, I'm just gonna scroll through pretty quick here, but you might notice we have every single TM in the entire game, except for TM60. There's just one more to go, and that is one TM we cannot get until after the Elite Four. So let's go down the ladder right here. And with that, we can walk crud, gosh, Dang it, Onyx! Leave me alone, man! With that, we can walk out the doors. I guess it's not a door. Walk out the exit and leave Victory Road behind us. Make our way back to Route 23. And it's time, guys. This is the Indigo Plateau. Let's go get to the Elite Four.
you gaze up at the Pokemon League with Freya. Let's go, partner. Let's go, Eevee. It's time for us to defeat our final challenge before we beat this game, Indigo Plateau. In we go, dude. Of course, we are going to buy some items and heal up and talk to people. You know, I gotta I gotta draw out the tension here. Yo, champ in the making, at the Pokemon League, you will face the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it. Go for it. All right. I can't even beat the first member of the Elite Four, so this is the Pokemon League. The most skilled trainers. Now the most skilled trainer is me, dude. If you go on ahead, you'll face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. I don't need luck, dude. I've got skill. Are you done with your shopping? Is your party all healed up? This is the big challenge, so you want to make sure you're fully prepared. Alright, so we are going to buy items, guys. I've got over 200,000 Poké Dollars. I'm going to go buy, like... I don't know, the best number, dude. We'll buy 15 full restores right here, just in case we need them. And we're gonna go talk to this dude. This guy will actually trade us an Exeggutor. So let's, uh, let's go get Coco Puff out. Gosh dang it, I have so many Paris still. Gosh dang it, dude! Okay, let's go add Coco Puff to the party right here. And it's time to say goodbye to Coco Puff, because we're gonna go get a different Exeggutor. Hey, you! If you have an Exeggutor, I'll trade my Exeggutor for it. I'm very proud of my Exeggutor. What do you think? He's so proud that he wants to get rid of it. Goodbye, Coco Puff. <laughs> and there we go! We've got ourselves a Lolan Exeggutor, one of the most ridiculous looking Pokemon ever. It's kind of silly looking. If we tilt him like this, you can kind of see the top of him. But there you go, he's very tall. And not only that, they are Grass and Dragon type. Dragon is very rare in this game. It's pretty much just Dragonite and this dude. So, uh, there you go, man. We got ourselves a dragon. Hey, buddy. Everyone calls me Madam Memorial. I know every move that a Pokemon learns as it grows, you see. I can also help your Pokemon remember any of those moves that it has let go in the past. I'll help your Pokemon recover their lost moves in exchange for heart skills if you have any. Do you want me to remind blah blah blah? Whatever. I, I do have like nine heart skills, so if I wanted to learn moves that I've forgotten on my Pokemon, I could do that here. I'm not going to bother, but there you go. That is the move relearner. So let's heal up, guys, and let's get to it once and for all. Oh, yeah, real quick, I just want to learn Stealth Rock over Roost on Petrie. There we go. Indigo Plateau, the highest Pokemon authority, Pokemon League headquarters. In we go. And the first member is someone we have seen before. This is Lorelei. She's an ice trainer, as you might be able to tell by the room. Let's go get to it. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Oh, looks like you finally made your way here. It sure took you a while, though. Well then, allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. That's because frozen Pokemon can't do a thing in battle. Ha! Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go, Eevee. Let's go, team. It is time to start the Elite Four. Our first battle against Elite Four Lorelei. She's got five Pokemon here, and she's starting off with a Dugong. Now, the main reason I wanted to learn Stealth Rock, what that does, once you put it out, whenever they send a Pokemon in, they will take some damage. So, at the very start here, I'm going to be a little bit risky, and I'm going to go for that Stealth Rock. They might hit me with a Hydro Pump. If they get a critical, I might be dead right here. So let's hope that doesn't happen. I really just want to get that out there. Oh, they're going to go for Waterfall, actually. And, oh, big damage, but no critical, so we are fine. I'm going to go Pokemon, and now that that's out, I'm going to go ahead and swap probably to Aya. No, you know what? I'm going to go to Kappa because they're part Ice, so my fighting attacks will be super effective. I'm pretty sure with Super Power, I can one-shot. Let's see how it goes. And if they go for an Ice or a Water Attack, not going to do crud to Kappa because they're water types. So very little damage right there. There we go, dude. So now let's go and let's do Super Power. Put that crud to use. They'll go for Ice Shard. Again, not going to do very much damage at all. But this is going to do some damage. Oh, down goes Dugong, just like that. Yes, it will lower our attack and defense. But if we swap out, which I plan to... Those will go right back up, so no worries there. So next up is going to be Jinx, and as usual, 
we just like to have Freya just go do some sizzly slide against that Jinx. And of course, because we had those stealth rocks out, they're going to take some damage as they go in. And it's actually going to be super effective because they're part ice. So watch how much damage stealth rock actually does. It does about 25% right there, which is pretty awesome. If it's not super effective, it will do 12.5%. But because we get that double for the super effect, it's really awesome. I don't know if we needed it against Jinx. I think we could have one-shot them anyways, but there you go, man. We got them. So next up, they're going to send out Cloyster. Cloyster has a very high physical defense, so we want to go for special attacks against this guy. And what better to go for than, well, Thunderbolt. So let's go for that, Crud. He's already taken a good chunk from that uh, Stealth Rocks. And yes, dude, there we go. Wanda putting in some work right there. Got just two Pokemon to go. Oh, 58 on Wanda as well. Yes. For this next one, we're going right back to Kappa because they are going to send out a Lapras. We're going to go for Superpower again. Like I mentioned, because we swapped out the attack and defense that we lost, that's back. We're back to normal. So now Superpower is at full strength. Let's go get him, dude. Lapras is pretty tanky, but thanks to the uh, Stealth Rocks, thanks to Superpower, we can still defeat him just like that. Down goes Lapras. One more Pokemon to go, guys. Now, this last one is actually not an Ice Pokemon. It is Water and Psychic. It's a Pokemon we've seen before. It is Slowbro. We've defeated Slowbro in the past just by using Leech Life, and I'm going to try to do that here again. You can see because they're not Ice type, they only took 12.5% instead of 25% from the Stealth Rock, so not too much. Definitely not going to one-shot this slow, bro, but we could probably two-shot. Oh my gosh, he's got a flamethrower, though. That might one-shot me. No! Oh, oh, 8 HP. We are alive. Holy crud, Aya. If he burned me, I was dead. Critical hit, I was dead. But it looks like we are alive. Down goes slow, bro, and down goes the first battle right here. Good job, team. Things shouldn't be this way, but they are. We get over 10,000 Poké Dollars for that, crud. Looks like you've gotten stronger since we last met. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. You have still three battles to go. So what I want to do after each battle is pretty much get healed back up. So we're going to go to our medicine pocket. And I'm going to go... I'll use up my Hyper Potions and my Max Potions first. I'll save the four restores until I run out of everything else. Honestly, I'll probably just use some water for Kappa. They don't, they don't need that much healing. So let's do like a... Not an ether, dude. We'll do fresh water here. And for each battle, we're going to have a different Pokemon follow behind us. We had Aya. Now it's Wanda's turn. Let's go get to our second battle against Bruno. Bring it on, you crud. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people in Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting type Pokemon, and that will never change. Psycho, was it? We will grind you down with our superior power. Who ha? All right, this guy has turned into Diddy Kong, but that's okay. We're going to go battle Bruno, our second battle here. And after... Oh, fireworks. Holy crud. After he just mentions Fighting-type Pokemon, he's going to start off with actually a Rock-type. So we're going to start off with Aya, even though I just pulled out Wanda from behind our Pokeball. Well, Wanda will use him for actual Fighting-types. But this guy, we're going to go and just do Mega Drain. Should not be too big of a problem. Oh, no! He does go for his own Stealth Rock. Hopefully, we're not going to have to swap too much. I think once we get to Wanda, we could probably just stay there. I think it'll be fine. But uh, down goes Onyx, at least. And here we are getting to some actual Fighting-type Pokemon. So out goes Wanda. If Wanda starts to get low, I will swap over to Petrie instead. But I'm hoping I don't have to swap too much because of all the damage we're going to take from the Stealth Rock. So let's go for that Psychic. Come on, get that one shot. No, it's not quite enough, dude. I was going to go for Thunder Punch, but we avoid it with the Shout. Good job, Wanda. All right, let's hit him with that crud. Come on, dude, you got this. There we go, so down goes Hitmonchan. Still got a few Pokemon to go, and honestly, Hitmonchan is not his toughest Pokemon. So we'll see how we do here. I would say this is his toughest Pokemon. He's got Machamp. This is a Pokemon we actually have not even seen up until this point. The evolved form of Machoke. It's a pretty tough Pokemon, arguably the toughest fighting Pokemon in the game. We're still going to two-shot it. Hopefully he will not do too much damage to us. Goes for Earthquake. Okay, we're alive though, we're alive. But we're getting kind of low. We might need to swap over to Petrie to finish off those last two Pokemon. But for now, Wanda can at least take down Machamp. There we go. This is not exactly the right time to be swapping to Petrie because they're going to have something. Well, they're going to have Poliwrath, which is a water Pokemon. So that's a little scary. Uh, taking big damage from that Stealth Rock because we're part flying. Speaking of flying, I'm going to go for fly. Hopefully I can one-shot. If not, then I'm probably going to get hit by a really strong water attack there. So fingers crossed, please do not kill my Petrie. Let's get him, dude. Come on. No, not even close, man. Waterfall going in. 
I don't think we're gonna survive that one. What? 5 HP? Somehow, even with that huge stealth rock, even with the waterfall, we somehow survive. So we're going up for fly, we're coming down, and this guy is going down, dude. Only problem, we got one more Pokemon to go. Both of our Pokemon that are good against fighting types, Petrie and Wander, kinda low right now. So uh, we might have to use someone else, but who would we even use? Well, you know what? He's got Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee tends to be pretty weak, so we could probably one-shot him. Well, he's a good attacker, but he's weak on defense, so we could probably one-shot him right here. Hopefully we do, otherwise this might not end well for us. Taking more damage from that Stealth Rock. If we don't one-shot, we're definitely going to get defeated here. So come on, Wanda. Let's do it. And no, dude! Miss. Just miss. No, he goes for Rock Slide. That is going to be Wanda defeated. Crud, man. I got greedy. I should have gone for, like, Douglas or something. Oh, well. Uh, you know what? Even Kappa would be fine here. So let's go for Kappa. All right, let's go for that Waterfall. They will go for Brick Break. Does a pretty good chunk, but there's no way they're surviving this. Down goes Hitmonlee. Down goes battle number two, guys. Thankfully, I do have some revives that could bring Wanda back up. We'll get everyone healed back up here, ready for battle three. Why? How could I lose? If you have defeated me, then my job is done. Ah! I may not like it, but go. Go face your next challenge. Well, we shall. But first, I am going to go and heal up. We definitely need to heal up after that battle. That was, uh... That was a tough one. That Stealth Rock definitely hurt us a lot. Kind of wish I killed him before we got to that point, but oh well. Let's go. Battle number three. And for this one, we've got Douglas out of the Pokeball because Douglas is going to be the star of the show here. Let's go, dude. Our third battle against Agatha. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. I hear Oak's taking a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's a fool. Pokemon are for battling. Psycho, I'll show you how a real trainer battles. Unguard! Okay, let's go, guys. The third Elite Four battle. Let's see how we do. Now, we've got we've got Douglas out. He's going to be very good against this because this one's going to have mostly poison-type Pokemon. Really, all poison-type Pokemon. And Douglas is extremely good against that crud. So, here we go. Probably just going to spam Earthquake. I mean, we could try to rub it in their face and go for Fissure, but I'm not that mean. I think we're just going to go for Earthquake here. And just like that, down goes Arbok. What a joke, dude. Ha! They got Gengar, dude. I ain't afraid of that. We will go for Earthquake once again. And I'm pretty sure one shot, if not an easy two shot. No, we got a one shot. There we go. Ah, uh, she's going to send out Golbat. This is like the one Pokemon I actually do want to swap for. We're going to go over to Wanda. Because we can't actually hit Golbat with our Earthquake or anything, so it's kind of a pain. Because they're part flying and all that crud. So we're going to go for Psychic over here. And uh, just hopefully defeat them before they get a chance to defeat us. So go for Psychic. Come on, one-shot Wanda. Come on. Yes, dude. There we go. And we're right back over to Douglas. So we've got Weezing coming in right here. I'm going to go for Earthquake. That'll be no problem there. And we'll probably just Earthquake their next Pokemon as well. Come on. You can't survive this crud, Weezing. Okay, never mind. I take that back. They did survive. What are they going to go for here? Shadow Ball. That's not going to do much, much, is it? Let's see. No. Oh, it does lower one of my stats. It does lower my special defense, but... Well, we'll just hit him once again. Are they going to heal? Nope. There we go, dude. Down goes Weezing. And their final Pokemon is another Gengar. We one-shot the first one. Can we one-shot the second one? That is a very extreme close-up, dude. Okay, let's go for Earthquake here. And there it is, guys. The third Elite Four battle is down. One more to go. Oh my, you're something special, child. You win. I see what the old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. All right, we'll go through that door. Of course, we need to heal up real quick. We've got Kappa out of their Pokeball. Let's go, guys. Through these doors is the final member of the Elite Four. There he is, Lance the Dragon Master. Let's go. So, you're Psycho. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You likely know the dragons are Pokemon spoken of in Legends. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your Pokemon League Challenge ends with me, Psycho! Here we go, guys. The final member of the Elite Four, Lance himself. This dude is going to have five Pokemon, starting off with a Seedra. So, our very first turn, guys. I'm going to be a little bit risky here. We're going for Petrie. I want to get that Stealth Rock set up 
to do huge damage during this battle. The problem is we are against a water type, so if I don't uh, survive here, I won't be surprised. He'll probably go for Hydro Pump or something here. So uh, just don't kill me. Just uh, let me live here. Oh, he missed! Yes, dude! So lucky! Holy crud! Okay, so now that we got that, we are going to go swap over to Aya and let them deal with the, uh, with the Seedra. I just wanted to get that Stealth Rock out there. Petrie has done their job for now. And there's the Hydro Pump once again. Thankfully, that's not going to be hitting Petrie. Still probably going to do a decent chunk, even though it's not very effective. Ah, oh, we're fine. So, uh, do I even want to bother with Spore? Probably not for a Seedra. I think we're just going to go... Okay, I'll do Dragon Pulse. I think we're just gonna do Mega Drain, dude. I think we'll two-shot him. So there goes the first Mega Drain. Whoa, dude, one shot. Was that a critical? No, just just straight up a one shot from Mega Drain. I actually was not expecting that, but we got him, dude. Down goes Cedra. Four Pokemon to go. Well, we are definitely gonna send out Kappa right here because they are about to send out a Charizard. Now, watch how much damage this Stealth Rock does, guys. It is insane. Half of his HP, because Fire Type and Flying Type are both weak to Stealth Rock. He takes 50% damage, and we'll finish him off with that Waterfall. He does have Air Slash. That is going to hurt a lot, uh, but we will survive. So there we go. Hit him with that Waterfall. Down goes Charizard. Heck yeah, man. Critical hit as well. Not that it probably even mattered. Now he's going to send out Aerodactyl. I'm going to try staying in here with Kappa, because this Aerodactyl actually does not have any flying attacks. So I think we should be able to survive. I think we can defeat him with one more Waterfall here. Come on, game. Oh, Earthquake might defeat me. Come on, survive, Kappa. Oh, 13 HP. Can we get the defeat right here? Come on. And yes, we got him. Two Pokemon to go, guys. And he's going to be sending out Gyarados. Now, I could use Wanda for this, but I want to save Wanda for his last Pokemon, which is going to be Dragonite. So instead, we're going to use Freya. We're going to go use Buzzy Buzz and try to take down Gyarados that way. Don't be scared, Freya. You got this. Hit him with that Buzzy Buzz. We get to go first. We kill him like it's nothing. I don't know if Stealth Rock even mattered there. It might have. Either way, down goes Gyarados. One Pokemon to go. And it is that Dragonite, his strongest Pokemon. Thankfully, we do have the Stealth Rock. That'll do some damage. Also, one is going to have Fairy Type, which will be super effective. So we'll see how this goes. But they can definitely deal some big damage to us. I don't know if they're going to be faster than us. We're going to find out here. So here we go, guys. The final Pokemon of the Elite Four. Let's go get him. Let's go fight. Let's go Dazzling Gleam. The camera's going crazy right now, showing all kinds of shots. No, we're not going to defeat him. He's going to go for Fire Punch. We avoid it with the shout. I don't think Fire Punch would have defeated us anyways. Let's go for that Dazzling Gleam. And there it is, guys. The Elite Four in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is defeated once and for all. Heck yes. And to top it off, we do get level 59 on Wanda. Nice. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you were a first-class Pokemon trainer. You get 11,000 Poke Dollars. Yes. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you. Psycho, you are now the Pokemon League champion. Lots of dots. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. That trainer is... Professor Oak? Alright, I guess the true final boss is Professor Oak himself. Hello there, Psycho. Congratulations on your victory over Lance. Hmm, what's with that look of surprise? Haha, -ha, your timing is perfect, Professor. Psycho, the one you will face is... Professor Oak. Aw, yeah! Well, not really. Okay, we're actually not gonna battle with Professor Oak. It's Yarg! The final battle. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the Pokemon League champion. That's right! In the past, trainers who defeated the Elite Four were only recorded as champions. This time, however, we'll be officially establishing the champion as a part of the Pokemon League. Professor Oak is here to officiate the crowning of the new champion. It seems only fitting that it should be either you or Yarg. You're the two who take care of Team Rocket, or who took care of Team Rocket after all. Now then, head onward to the stage of your final battle. Through these doors. The final battle with Yarg himself. I've taken everyone else out of the Pokeballs. I would take Petrie out, but uh, he's kind of too big for this place. I don't, I don't think he'll even show up. Yeah, let's go, guys. The actual for real final battle with Yarg himself. Bring it on, Yarg. It's all led to this. Our entire adventure has led to this moment.
You did it, Psycho. Oh man, that's great, I've been waiting. I beat the Elite Four and became the champion. You probably heard from the professor, right? From now on, the champion will be part of the Pokemon League and battles all kinds of trainers. I'm really glad my first opponent turned out to be you, Psycho. You're the one trainer I want to test my best against, after all. Well, let's battle, Psycho. The champion's seat is on the line. Here we go, guys. With this, if we can win, if we can beat Yarg one more time, we will be Pokemon champions. This guy's got six Pokemon, a full team. Starting off with Pidgeot, as he usually does. Now, we're gonna do the same tactic we've been doing that's been so good against the Elite Four. We're gonna start off with Petrie, and we're gonna go for that Stealth Rock. Now, of course, the Stealth Rock does not hit the Pokemon that's already out, but, uh, well, this Pidgeot, he is actually mega evolving. So this is not just any Pidgeot, this is Mega Pidgeot. It's gonna go for that Air Slash. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage. Okay, we're fine for now. So we'll go for that Stealth Rock. Like I said, it's not gonna actually hit Pidgeot unless he swaps. But we are gonna go and do Rock Slide here. Just don't miss. We've been missing a lot of Rock Slides during this episode. Hopefully that does not continue. Yes, we got him. But we're actually not faster, so we can't flinch. But with one more of those, we can defeat him. As long as he does not use a potion right here. Come on, game. What does he go for? Goes for Air Slash. No critical. No critical. Okay, we're fine. I flinched. No, dude. I think we can still survive one more. But if he gets that critical, we are definitely dead. Do not critical. Okay. Okay. Come on. I flinched again. I hate to do it, guys. But we have got to use an item. We're going to go use our, four, our first full restore here, actually. Let's do it. Two flinches, that is some bad luck right there, man. Oh, I actually dodged the air slash right there. So, once again, let's go for that rock slide. Do not flinch again. Come on, man, you can't get me with three flinches. Yes, we got the rock slide. That should be Pidgeot going down. So Mega Pidgeot is defeated. Five Pokemon to go here. Oh, next up is going to be Raichu. And it's only fitting to have Freya battle his starter. Our starter versus their starter. Let's go, Freya. Let's beat Raichu once again. We're gonna go for that double edge. Hopefully not take too many hits from his thunder. Now thunder, it's got a good chance to miss. Hopefully we'll get lucky and have it miss. Or maybe dodge it with a shout, something like that. Come on, game. And no such luck. He's going for that thunder. It's not going to miss. Taking some big damage, no paralyze, good. The downside is because we're gonna take so much recoil damage. Oh my gosh, we actually killed him. We killed him, dude. We're going to take big recoil, but we actually defeated him already. It does not matter. I want every Pokemon on our team to have a time to shine in this battle. So that was Freya's turn. Next up is actually going to be Wanda's turn. Out comes Vileplume. We're going to hit him with that Psychic. Now I just have to hope he does not for any kind of poison attack on me. Oh, we're not going to defeat him, dude. No Sludge Bomb, none of that crud. He's going for Solar Beam? What the crud is he doing? So because he's going Solar Beam, he can't heal. He can't actually hit me. We're just going to defeat him right here, guys. So, Wanda's Pokemon battle is going down. Three for three so far, looking pretty good. Had some some rough patches against that uh, Pidgeot, but aside from that, going pretty good here. So three to go. Next up, Rapidash. So for Rapidash, we're gonna go and use Douglas. This is Douglas's turn. And I know it's a little scary because he's gonna have fire stuff, but taking that damage from the Stealth Rock, let's go for Earthquake. Probably just one shot him because, well, Douglas is very quick. Even though this guy is level 56, down he goes. So Douglas's turn is done, two Pokemon to go. We've got Kappa, we've got Wanda. No, we've got Kappa, we've got Aya. Let's go dude, Slowbro coming out, and that is gonna be Aya's turn. Now against this dude, level 56 Slowbro, I think it's time to finally make, uh, put, uh, put, uh, put Spore to use, dude. So there we go, we'll use Spore. Of course we're gonna be faster because Slowbro is very slow, it's, it's in his name. So now that he's asleep, let's start going for that Leech Life. I think we can two-shot unless he heals or something. But uh, definitely want to go for that Spore, hopefully just to not get defeated in the meantime. So there we go, got that. Hopefully he'll stay asleep. Now he wakes up, goes for Psychic. I think I'm going to go for Leech Life again. Kind of bad luck having him wake up so quickly from that Spore. Oh well. Well, there we go guys. This should be it for Slowbro. And with that, we have one Pokemon to go. It is Kappa's turn. Let's take this down. Let's beat this game. Come on, Kappa. We have to defeat this Marowak, and I think we can do it. We're gonna go, we're gonna use Waterfall. I think that's our best move right here. 
We get to go first, so even if we don't kill, we might be able to flinch him. Come on, get that flinch. No, he's gonna go for Bone Meringue. Might do some big damage. Oh, uh, Kappa's pretty tanky. I think we're fine. Okay, two hits right there. Let's go for that Waterfall. If we hit him, we win. Yes, dude! That is it, guys! We officially have just beaten Pokemon Let's Go Eevee! We did it! We are Pokemon Champions! Okay, I admit it. Psycho, you're the strongest trainer in the world! 13,000 Poke Dollars for that crud! Oh, get that smile off your face, man! You're a loser! Oh, man, my reign is over already? That was pretty short! You're the champion now, Psycho. And as for me, I've got a new goal to work toward. Psycho. Yes, Professor Oak? So, you've done it at last. You've defeated the Pokemon League. My sincerest congratulations. You've grown a great deal since you first caught Eevee and set out with that Pokedex. Yes, Psycho. You've really come into your own as a fine young man. And Yarg. You showed great resolve, never losing heart, as you saw your journey through to the end. I did see, though, in the way that you do battle, that kind of heart of yours might still be causing you to hold yourself back when it comes to your Pokémon and to facing Psycho. It's hardly much of a weakness, but it may have cost you the battle this time. Regardless, the two of you showed us an extraordinary battle. <laughs> Thanks, Professor! Psycho, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing, don't you? It was the marvelous bond you share with your Pokémon that brought you here. Now, Psycho, come with me. Oh man, here we go. We just saved the game. This is it, there's no going back now. Hopefully my crud does not crash. Mm hmm congratulations, Psycho. This is where we record forever, the Pokémon who have performed so admirably for their trainers here at the Pokémon League. This is the Hall of Fame. Being honored here is one of the greatest joys a Pokemon trainer may achieve. Psycho, you've battled hard to become a Pokemon League champion. Let us record this great achievement of you and your Pokemon for all to remember. Congratulations, champion! That is us, my dudes! There is our team, Freya! The, the best Eevee ever! Petrie, late to the team, but super useful! Douglas, the absolute powerhouse! Aya, took a long time to get that shiny, but it was worth it, they were amazing! Wanda, the fairy type, kind of got in the way sometimes, but man, they were still really strong! And of course, Kappa, my favorite Pokémon of all time! There it is, guys, our winning team! We have now defeated Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. It's been a bumpy ride, to say the least. This Let's Play has been a bit of a curse, but we have now taken it to an end. We have beaten the game, guys. There we go. And with that, we reach the credits. So, thank you all so much for watching. Of course, you might have noticed this episode is not the finale, because we still have about five episodes to go with post-game. Hopefully it's not three months until the next episode like it was last time. I do plan to finish this series before Let's Go, or not Let's Go, before Sword and Shield come out. So we'll see how that goes. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed the series up until this point, even with all of its ups and downs. It's been so much fun. And I guess I'll leave you guys with the credits. And I'll see you next time for some post-game. Take care!
Eu vou 